So this is how to stream live from your YouTube channel in 2015. So firstly, you want to click on my channel, it brings you to your channel, um, then click on the video manager. We've got the video manager here. Um, so next click on live streaming and it will give you a couple of options. So this is, this is um, using your own encoder, but there's a far easier way of doing it than this if you just simply want to live stream using a, a Google Hangout. Um, so click on events, which is the easy way of, of, of live streaming, and then you'll have to click on enable live streaming. Uh, if you if you haven't already um, if you haven't already done this, and this will take you through a variety of options where you will have to um, demonstrate that you're a real person. So YouTube will have to send you um, a text message um, or an automated voice message. So you can go through these account verification stages. Um, We'll assume that we've done that and I'll get back to you with the next step. So once you've made sure that the channel is verified, the next step again is go back to the events tab and click on new live event. It's all fairly self-explanatory. You've got the title, which is the title of the YouTube video that you get, that's going to be live streamed, um, description tags and so on. Of, of, most people are going to want it to be public rather than unlisted. Advanced settings contains things like whether you want to age restrict or enable comments etc. Again, it's all fairly self-explanatory. The only thing that maybe isn't is the date. The date sets the time on the countdown on the video. So if I were to set this for 24 hours from now, then it would count down from 24 hours were you to observe that video. Um, it's not even strictly necessary to set a date for when you're going to do it. it that All that does is control the countdown. Nevertheless, I would recommend it. Um, so again, I'm just going to type this in. Um, I'm going to set this for tomorrow at some point. It doesn't again. It doesn't really matter because you can start the hangout regardless of when you set it for. So just set it for when you want to do the event, and that will set the timer. And then click on create event at the bottom here. So you can see that this will generate this. And when you come back to the events tab here, again, just click on live streaming, and then events will show up. Click on that. This will appear automatically. Um, and it will have the title of the event that you chose. Um, and then in order to start the live stream, you need to be clicking on Start Hangout on Air. But before I do, I just want to show you how you can work out what the um, URL, what the link of the actual video is that you're going to be live streaming. So click on Edit, and you can view on Watch Page. And you can see that the time is already set, so you want to... Um, copy and paste the URL if you want to um, tell other people where the video is at. So I've gone back into the events tab here, back into the video manager, back into the events, and now I'm going to click on Start Hangout on Air and show how you can control the actual live stream. And this will cause the Hangout to pop open in a new window. And now, regardless of what date you choose the live event to happen, you can still click on the start hangout button now at any time just by going back into the events page of your video manager so this will set up a window that looks like this um, and note this start broadcast button won't appear immediately it'll take about 30 seconds to appear usually um, depending on your connection and at this point you are actually ready to go live so if i was to click this now i would go live um, but just to give you an idea of the features this button controls whether or not to turn the webcam on um, this button controls whether or not you speak. So at the moment, I'm not actually, no one would actually be hearing anything. You have to turn this on and then you can see the um, lines pop up so people can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, obviously, you might want to add more than yourself to the Hangout if you're going to have a discussion with someone. So you can do that by clicking this button, invite people, um, and then you can um, copy by controls um, seeing this link um, and you can send it to other people through whatever means you'd um, perceive as being the most suitable. Um, and This is all really all there is to it, so when you want to start the Hangout, just click on Start Broadcast and then you're done. And then obviously once you start the broadcast, a, a Stop Broadcast button will also appear and then you can stop the broadcast. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, a few things to bear in mind. If you change information, um, um, if you edit the um, information in your event fairly close to the time, it may well screw screw up your hangout so this button does not appear. Um, so I would not recommend changing any 
um, attributes of the hangout, such as the name, title, and even the date or tags or whatever, close to the time, because this button may not appear if you choose to do that. And the only solution, if this button does not appear, is to basically start the whole process again, make a new event, and give them the new link to the to the um, hangout. Um, a few other things. If someone is not audible, one quick option to fix this, and it works about 95% of the time, is just to get them to sign out and sign back in again. Um, just, just get them to refresh and come back in. That usually solves most problems. 